A big sighting this weekend in California. Eric the Midget showed up at the Killers of Comedy show in Sacramento. Yeah, you know what? Richard and Sal know all about this. They they call themselves the Killers of Comedy. Yeah. Because I think they kill comedy completely. Right. There's no laughs. laughs. But, uh, just killing. <laughs> no, they're funny guys. You know, you know, you've heard them on the roast and stuff, and, and they're, they're certainly funny here. So they invited Eric the Midget to show up. And wasn't he supposed to introduce someone? Hey guys, come in here and just give us a little rundown. Yeah, I thought he was actually going to be on stage. I think they chloroformed Eric the Midget and uh, <laughs> raped him on stage. <laughs> That's a good act. That's funny stuff. Let me see. Uh, good morning. Hold on. Let me find, what What do you want? Three? Mm, you were podium two. It's like, what are you doing? It's like running a football game here. Yeah, so Eric came out, and yeah. uh, he he's so small, he looks like a turkey, Howard. Like a big turkey with <laughs> a head like on the, He's like the Chucky doll from Child's Play. <laughs> and his chest just, it comes forward like it's like a shoebox tucked oh, under a oh baby shirt, yeah. you know? Oh, there he is. This yeah, Eric We're kissing his cheek. Oh, that's, that's old. So cute. But he's got the littlest he hands. Does Eric like the midget dye his hair? He, he might. Like it. Well, he uses some you, kind of grease, this I here? It's like a turkey. You know? Right, like a turkey. It's like a, yeah, it's like a huge turkey with a head on it. So Eric, I heard Eric was bitching that that uh, he doesn't he objects to that song. So he waves me over. It was so great to see him. He goes, hey, we got a big dilemma here. I go, what? He goes, I know you have to rhyme with Catherine McPhee, but I'm really not two foot three. <laughs> what is he? And I'm like, so I'm looking. I'm going, I'm so sorry, Eric. I let me. What? And then I realized he's not even two foot one. He's not even one foot three. And I don't know how to change that lyric. <laughs> was it cool hanging out with him? It was great. He's so... He's a sweet little guy you when you meet him in person. You shake his hand and your mouth. It's like, you know when you... you, you the first time when you shook like a dog's paw, and you're like, that's an interesting feeling. It's, it's real it's soft. Like, it's like, his like, hand's it's so like soft. cotton with a pencil stuck in the middle as a bone, you know? Oh it's guys interesting. so nice. He was great. <laughs> Eric was so he's in a tiny wheelchair, you know, the tiny power chair, just like in the ca cartoons. Yeah. So the bouncers By have that cartoon is on Howard TV. The bouncers to, to play it safe have to bring the chair up first, and then Eric. Wow. So they take him out of the chair, and somebody's holding him like a baby. They put the <laughs> chair on the stage first, and then they walk off the stage, Why and they pick they up to... Eric, and he's dangling in the air. Well, there was they, no ramp on stage. They plop Eric in the chair on the stage, oh. and then he does the introduction. And the crowd goes nuts when they see the wheelchair, because they know who's coming up <laughs> yeah. next. Oh. They start chanting his name as soon as they see that wheelchair. Could he get laid? Uh, uh, I don't, I don't so. know. <laughs> Is that a bad-looking guy? Do you think guy? he has working organ? I mean, like, you know. Working no. Dick. You know what you I realized? What do you mean? You don't know if his penis were? How do you I know? He probably works. You guys probably jerked him off. Well, it must because he's horny. He talks right. about, you know, Kelly Clarkson and of stuff. Of his penis works. And he asked me, he said, could you tell Brooke Hogan at the Bubba wedding that I said hi? <laughs> hey, Eric, I heard you were in show business this weekend. What the fuck is your problem, you two idiots? <laughs> I was completely nice to your two dumb asses. And now you're here ripping me? We're not ripping you. We said it. you were real sweet. We liked meeting you. Yeah. And oh, yeah, like all the other comments were compliments. They were. What did they say that was bad? I'm not catching your drift. I'm three foot five. I'm nowhere near the two foot mark. <laughs> you're three foot five in the chair. <laughs> no, you idiot. Stand and having a doctor measure me. He has two foot two wheels. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take the wheels yeah, out of the that equation. Yeah, he's three foot five. What do you care if they say you're two foot three or three foot five? What's yes, the difference? It's funny for the song. There's morons that are listening that actually believe that. Does it matter that much, though? We don't care to the morons. <laughs> this show has a very, very high IQ audience. By the way, what would it keep you out of if people thought you were two foot three? <laughs> a roller coaster? <laughs> you're serious, Eric. I don't see, like, like if, uh, why are you so sensitive about your height? I mean, you know, whether you're two foot three or three foot five, I mean, you see, because you don't want to be technically a midget, because three foot five is not a midget. It's taller. What is no, the cutoff for little person is four foot ten. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, he's still... Then why does it matter? Yeah, yeah, what's the big deal? I mean, they were eyeballing you. They didn't think you were three foot five. Well, that's their dumbass troll. <laughs> but other than that, they said nice stuff. Yeah, yeah Eric, it was... Very soft. <laughs> we took Eric to a titty club. We put him in front row. Yep. Shuli helped him hand out dollar bills to the girls. Really? Were you? Did you go to a titty club? Yep. 
Look at you. How could you yell at these guys? Did you beat off when you got home? No. I... Tell the truth. No, I didn't. Did your penis work? Yes. Then you would have definitely beaten off to these broads. <laughs> Why wouldn't you beat off, Eric? He beat off. He's just so he's so tight. He doesn't like to admit that he beats no, off. No, I didn't. How many times a day do you beat off? It'll ruin his image. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But you do do it. You know you do. He's got to beat off like two times a day at least. <laughs> hey, Eric, can you tell Howard the one time you did beat off when you tell me the girl who came over your apartment with the big boobies? Oh, yeah. What was that about? It Some... was Go ahead. a f friend of mine that from high school. She let me feel her up and all that stuff. And then afterwards, you know, I did do what Sal just said I did. You beat off? <laughs> you slapped it. <laughs> now does he like wheel his power chair over to the tissues afterwards, or, or do you? Yeah. yeah, how, first. yeah. <laughs> how do you work it? Do you power chair over to the tissues beforehand? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. What? <laughs> afterwards? No, before. And you get all set up. That's, sure. how, that's how I do it. Sure, do it. <laughs> Tissues. Check. <laughs> well, hey, I'm glad you were there, man. Sounds like a power saw. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. And, I, and if I do see Brooke Hogan, I'm going to tell her you said hello. I really am. Thank you. Of all the shit Eric's probably worried about, the first thing Lisa says is, God, he looks old. <laughs> hey, how old are you, Eric? Do you dye your hair? 31. He definitely dyes his hair because his eyebrows are dark and his hair is blonde. First of all, look at the insane amount of makeup Sal's wearing in that picture. I know. I know. I'm, not orange. Wearing, I'm just orange. Is I don't know why. Not, is, that's not makeup? No, it's just that Richard's so white that I look orange. Stop Rich, it. Richard hey, Eric, white. do you dye your hair? No. You do, too. That's someone, a lie. Someone dies it for him. Well, what, do you use grease in your hair or something, Eric? Or? No. Who does no. he look like? He looks exactly... Is it slicked back? He looks like a little Jackie Martley. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Yes! God, you're right! That's what I... He does! He looks like Jackie! <laughs> He's just a little funnier. i got to make a movie for the Howard Stern Film Festival oh, and let Eric play Jackie's... Oh, I agree like, that. The maybe. puppet. Well, maybe we'll face him with the puppet. Yeah, the puppet comes to life. <laughs> You know, I was, I'm trying to think, who the fuck does he look like? And you're right, he looks like Jackie. Yeah. Hey. Eric's hey. the size of a joke master. <laughs> I like to mention as a Jackie puppet. Hey, by the way, Richard, are you still wearing the same shirt that you wore Saturday at the appearance? Yeah. 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 On stage, it's Howard. Nice. You smell, man. Eric, Sal said that um, when they got on the plane. Oh, yeah, so. so uh, Sal's out. We're leaving the hotel, and Richard has a tiny duffel bag. It, it never occurred to me. So uh, I'm leaving. I go, how do you fit your clothes in there? He goes, I'm wearing my clothes. I go, you wear, how, many, how much, how, where's your pants? He goes, they're on me. One pair of pants for three fucking days in a hotel with this and guy. And underwear. And everything. underwear. And when you Do come you home. you change your underwear? No. Why three not, days. But why not change your shirt when you get home? Uh, I just grabbed this one this morning. I was kind of in a hurry to get here. Here's a big question. Did you shower? I did this morning, yeah. No, but you, you showered on the road. Oh, dirty no, he didn't shower on the road. I slept with him every night. No, but Richard, I did here. You didn't fucking take a shower the three days you were on the West Coast. I didn't sweat or anything. And you want to no. hear this? He doesn't I wash did. his jeans because he spent a lot of money on them and he doesn't want them to get damaged in the wash. You know what? Well, I don't want them to get stolen at the laundromat or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like 150 bucks. Beyond, yeah, it's but what's the point? Who's gonna wash them? It's beyond laughing now. I'm really it's mad at you. It what? angers me. I mean, it's disgusting. It's gross, and it's like I can't. Meanwhile, believe you hear it. Will was here and shit his pants. What? 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 Yeah, Will. <laughs> he was what are you talking about? He was here and he had like a stomach flu or something, which he still has. I don't know why he's at work, but when? What day was this? <laughs> This was, uh, what day was this? Saturday morning. Yeah, you were here Saturday morning. What were you doing here Saturday? Well, I, I missed Friday, so I had to come in and finish my work. I had to do the Huey Lewis notes. And uh, I came in, and I thought I was feeling a lot better. 
I had a little bit of an urge down there, yeah. so I kind of let it go, and it was a wrong move. It was just oh. down my legs, oh. all over the place. Why are you shitting your pants? Like, why don't you just go to the bathroom? Because I didn't think I had to actually go. I thought it was kind of over it, and I could, like, control the urge, but it was just everywhere, and I was cleaning up in the bathroom. And, oh, and how do you get home now that you've got it all running down your legs? It's on your pants. It's everywhere. Well, no, mostly my, bo my boxers captured it, so I just, like... Wrapped them up, brought them home. Did you get the number? Home? You leave them here. Well, I was debating whether I wanted to keep them or not. Well, did anybody walk into the bathroom while you were? Yeah, there was like some Indian guy in there, and I was like, taping up my boxers. It was horrible. What the hell happened? <laughs> what is wrong with you, filthy? One of those stern motherfuckers should have found. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that hard stern job. Oh, they, 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 they wrap your underpants up and it's shit in a bunch of fucking pigs. Yeah. <laughs> they say we stink. <laughs> I, but that, <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> you, wow. you mean Lewis notes? Yeah, and then he canceled. That was the worst part. Oh. So is Eric going to be doing? Yeah, he he canceled too. Wow. I'm still, I'm still fascinated. Richard does not shower the whole three days you're on the yes. West Coast. And doesn't you know? bring a change of clothing. Artie. All I know is I am trying to pray to an elephant and you smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Saturday, change. Sleep. change your shirt, man. Howard. You get off the road, I mean, and you've been on This is a brand new shirt, though. I just bought it on Saturday. So actually. what? You wore it for three straight days. You slept in it. You, you friggin' pants. I mean... Dude, but yeah. dude, how he sweated in it. There's cigarette smoke on it. You went to a strip club with that shirt you on. You know how gross these gigs are if you're on stage with those gigs. I mean, then, you don't, you don't it, sweat on stage. And then no. and with south, the lights. It was nice and cool. Out. It was cool out there. And and then uh, you bring a scented candle with you so that so that the room won't smell. Yeah. Because yeah. he smells. Yeah, it's awful. The so pumpkin so candles, I love them. Yeah, but it's instead of bringing wrapped up with the smell. Yeah. Of why? Love. But instead of bringing a candle on the road. Bring like soap. Why don't you just oh, I do shower? once in a while. I do. And wash your clothing. If I, I mean, just sometimes we get, we're so busy and stuff. But I got, you know we get running around. Underwear. You don't want to have a clean pair of underwear. Oh no, you know you're, like, like, you're like a person who lives in the 1800s. <laughs> like yeah, like the like the like there's no lights, there's no electricity, there's no washing. Like machine. Amish. I should be yeah. Amish. Or like a person who lives in 2007 ah, Kansas. Ah. <laughs> right. He uh, said, not, Howard, he said he doesn't have any room in his duffel bag for his iPod and his laptop if he adds a pair of pants. Oh. <laughs> Eric, so you like hanging out with these guys? It was fun? Yeah, it was not fun hearing them this morning. Well, they, they didn't say anything bad. No, we just said what happened. Yeah. They pointed out a lot of stuff that I don't want to have pointed out about myself. Like what? Your chicken breast? <laughs> That's one. His what? His turkey His physique. His turkey breath. His turkey physique? Yeah, he looks like a big turkey. <laughs> We're all vain. But look at Richard. Richard looks like I a Dorito, like, you know? I look like a chicken. Right. I mean, Artie looks like an elephant. Sal looks like a magician. Reggie looks like a pig. Uh, Gary looks like a monkey. You look like a turkey. <laughs> so what? <laughs> We'll put you on the table the for crowd, Thanksgiving. The crowd Holy. in San Francisco went nuts. They were chanting Eric's name. They, they loved them. At least right? they love you, man, right? Mm -hmm. Did you feel good up on stage? Did you feel like a rock star? Yeah, it felt good. Yeah. crowd loved you. See? Julie <laughs> 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 really told me the crowd went <laughs> all night. Yeah, they did. <laughs> what did Eric say? Yeah, Eric, what did he say? Do what you did on stage. No, Let's that, hear it. That's his catchphrase. <laughs> no, it's not Artie. <laughs> Artie, say, I mean, uh, Eric, say something. What did you say on stage? I, well, I said that Johnny Frodo had a message for me to give to the audience. Nice. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. He's hooked in with that Johnny Frodo. And Johnny has him speaking. It's like, you know, he's Johnny's little dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Frodo. How quick was Chance turn into booze, right? <laughs> no, they actually reacted positively to that. So what did Johnny Frado have you, to say? You guys don't realize it. A lot of people do like to hear Johnny on your show. We know. We put him on. That's why we put him on. Yeah, you rushed his ass off the other day. Yeah, because he wasn't getting to well, the point. I got a show well, to produce. It's a stupid call that it came out drama. Right, I, I got to go, Eric. This is silly. to get rid of you. Yeah, about to hang up on you. <laughs> I lost you, turkey. Happy birthday, Stern. Oh, thank you oh, very nice much. Thank you. And I will tell Brooke Hogan your message. Thank you.
you. Anybody else you got a message for the video of the bubble wedding? Yeah. Johnny Frano says to Brooke, I'll get the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lisa, what else is in the news?